Hey, I'm here at York's Wild Kingdom. This is my favorite zoo. I come here every summer. And right now, we're at the copy bar enclosure. And you can see there's three copy bars, and they look like youngsters because they're not very big. And there's a parrot right there. I think it's a uh, scarlet macaw, or maybe it's a red and green macaw. It's hard to tell because they kind of look alike. And there's another cage right here. I'll be telling you. I'll be telling you some more about more of the animals that are here as well. The copy bar is the largest rodent in the world. The largest copy bar ever recorded was five feet long, three feet tall, and weighed 232 pounds. And they're great swimmers. They can hold their breath underwater for five minutes, and they're one of the only three animals in the entire world that have 14 toes, four on each front foot, and three on each rear foot. The other two are its smaller cousin, the guinea pig, and the tapir, which lives alongside the capybara, but of course isn't related. And right now I'm in front of the tiger enclosure. Over there is a regular colored tiger, and over here is a rare white colored tiger. The chances of a tiger being born white are 1 in 15,000, and the tiger is the largest cat in the world. Largest one ever was 13 feet long, stood 10 feet tall up on its hind legs. Its chest was 5 feet in girth, which means it was more than 19 inches wide, because remember, the girth of a circle is always 3.14 times the width. It was 4 feet tall on all fours and weighed 1 ton. These tigers here are Bengal tigers. There are different subspecies of tigers, and the largest subspecies is the Siberian tiger. And in fact, I just gave a little growl looking at me earlier, and so was that guy. He's also looking. He's still making noise. Let's follow him as he walks this way, and you can get a much good look at him. Tigers are the top predators of all Asia, and they're closely related to lions, which we'll see over there pretty soon. You can even crossbreed them together. If you breed a male tiger with a female lion, you get a tigan. But if you breed a male lion with a female tiger, you get a liger. Here's a white tiger again. As I said before, the chance of a tiger being born white are 1 in 15,000. Lions can be born white too. And white tigers are not albinos. And they only live in captivity. And White lions aren't albinos either, and white lions also live in captivity. Their, their white color wouldn't help them in the wild. It could probably camouflage them with the snow, but not with the grass. That's why tigers are usually orange. And most white tigers are actually bigger than most normal colored tigers. There's also another rare color in tigers, golden tabby. Now I'm with the red kangaroos. These guys look like they're youngsters because they're too small to be adults. Here's there's two females and a male. Male red kangaroos are called big reds. Which, which means only the males are red. The females are bluish grayish and the females are called blue flyers because they hop so much it looks it's like they're flying. The, Red kangaroos are the largest marsupials in the world. They can and they can cover 50 feet in one leap and jump 11 feet straight up in the air. They can hop as fast as 50 miles an hour. But the largest member of the kangaroo family that ever lived was the giant short-faced kangaroo, Procoptodon. It was 10 feet long, stood 10 feet tall, and weighed 530 pounds. But the largest marsupial that ever lived was Diprotodon, an ancestor of the wombat. It lived alongside Procoptodon. It was 12 feet long, stood 7 feet tall, and weighed 4 tons. Now I'm in front of the cage with the wallabies. Wallabies are close relatives of the kangaroo, but they're smaller. They're built just like kangaroos, though, and, and just like kangaroos, they live in Australia. There's, a, there's another cousin of the kangaroo called the wallaroo. Despite its name, though, it's actually not, not a cross between a kangaroo and a wallaby. It's its own species. It's smaller than a kangaroo, but bigger than a wallaby. Now I'm in front of the emu enclosure. The emus behind me are emu chicks. When they're full grown, they'll be all brown. They'll lose all their, their 
checkered patterns right now and when they grow up they'll be seven feet tall weigh 200 pounds and will run 50 miles an hour and emus live alongside kangaroos in Australia and they're related to ostriches Now I'm in front of the black and white rough lemurs. There's another species of lemur here called the ringtail lemur. We'll see it later on. You can see why they're called black and white rough lemurs because they're black and white. And what's interesting is they're the only large lemur species that nest their young in trees. They leave their young in nests. And they're not the only lemurs that do that. There's plenty of others, but they're the only large ones that do that. Most lemurs that nest their young in trees are small. So you could basically say that these are the biggest lemurs in the world that nest their young in trees, but of course the largest lemur in the world is the Indri. Now I'm in front of the lion enclosures. You can see behind me there's two lions, a male and a female, and lions are 12 feet long, 10 feet tall on their hind legs. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. That's the call I was talking Sorry for the interruption. Um, that was the call black and white rough lemurs do. I think it's an alarm call. They, they use it to communicate with each other, and it can be heard long distances away. Uh, lots of lemurs make lots of different alarm calls, and they make other sounds too. We heard them make sniffing sounds as well. Now I'm in front of the lion enclosure. As you can see, there are two lions behind me, male and female. Lions are the second largest cats in the world, right after tigers, and they're closely related to tigers. The largest one ever was 12 feet long, 10 feet tall on its hind legs, 4 feet tall on all fours, and weighed half a ton. And lions are the only social cats in the entire world. A group of lions is called a pride, and the largest lion pride ever had 6 adult males, so 6 liters, 20 adult females, and 30 cubs, for a total of 56 lions. Now I'm in front of the cassowary enclosure. The cassowary is another cousin of the ostrich. Seven feet tall, weighs 220 pounds, and can run 40 miles an hour. It's also the most dangerous bird in the world, and it's the only bird in the world that has that bony crest on top of its head. And if you look on their feet, you can see they've got, a, they've got claws on their feet just like a velociraptor. There's three ostriches here. There's two females right there, and there's a male sitting down over there. I think he might be sitting on a clutch of eggs. The ostrich is related to the emu and the cassowary that we just saw earlier, and it's the largest bird in the world. The largest one ever was 11 feet tall and weighed 440 pounds. And they're also the fastest two-legged animals in the world. The fastest one ever ran 60 miles an hour. You can tell that's the male ostrich because only the males have black feathers. The female's feathers are gray. And the males are great fathers. I really think he might be sitting on a clutch of eggs right now. Ostriches lay the largest eggs in the world. An ostrich egg is 30 times bigger than a chicken's egg. Here's the other species of lemur in the zoo, the ringtail lemurs. Look at those tails. That is the sure giveaway that you're looking at a ringtail lemur. Ringtail lemurs are the only lemurs that have stripes on their tails, which also makes them the only species in their very own lineage. Some ringtail lemurs can have as many as 30 rings on their tails. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two special episodes. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.